Hello. All right. Uh, let's look at this type of uh, absolute equation, which involving two modulus. All right. Means for the right hand side and also for the left hand side, you still have modulus. Right. So for this type of case, very simple. If you have modulus equals the modulus. All right. This may be a positive. This one may be a negative of this. Right. For example, if I said modulus of four, I will still equals the modulus of four. Or I can say modulus of negative four is still equals to modulus of four. Right. So the positive negative is the same as the result because these two will give you four. This also will give you four. Right. Modulus of four is four. So I can say that modulus of four is the same as modulus of four, or modulus of negative four is still same as the modulus of four. So it means that either inside here is uh, I can say that uh, modulus of plus minus 4 is still equals to modulus of 4, right? It's the same thing. So, means that the this one can be a positive 4 to give you a uh, value of 4. Or you net modulus of negative 4, you can eliminate the negative because it will positive become 4. So, you're still getting 4. So, means that this can be the positive negative of 4, right? Uh, so means positive or negative 4, you will get modulus 4 also. So it means that uh, this concept, very simple. Or, or if you're lazy to think about this, uh, you can just mm, you can just think about uh, once you open the modulus, very simple, even though 2 also modulus, once you just open the modulus, it, you just put either one of the side, you put plus minus. Right, plus minus x plus three bracket. Don't forget. Uh, so if you if if you don't think about the the why is it why is this happen to be so you just try to look at this equation. You just uh two x focus on this equation. You just put plus minus, I or you may put plus minus here, and here is x plus three. It's the same thing. So okay, I solve this equation by using this method. So it goes to x plus three. Right. Or maybe, or maybe, two x minus nine is the same as negative of x plus three, right? So <coughs> then you have two uh, x minus x. You have x equals to three plus nine. You have twelve, right? The first solution. So let's look at this. So you have two uh, x minus nine equals to negative x minus three, right? We expand. So you have three x. <coughs> you have 3x, negative 3 plus 9, negative 3 plus 9, you have 6, so x equals to 2. Uh, so you have two solutions. So okay, we can use uh, mental checking. Uh. We can checking by using our, our, our counting. So we count in our mind. So 12. So if you have modulus of uh, the left hand side, you have uh, 2 times 12, 24, right? 24 minus 9. So 24 minus 9 will give you 15. Right? Will give you 15. So how about for this side? Modulus of 12 plus 3. Right? Uh, this is the left hand side. This is the right hand side. You are still getting 15. Right? You satisfied. This solution satisfied both. So for x equals to 2. For x equals to 2. Okay, you can use mental checking. You're checking this thing. So you have 2, 2. Minus 9. Let's see what you will get. You have 4, right? 4. 4 minus 9. 4 minus 9, you got negative 5. Modulus of negative 5, you get 5. Alright. This is for the <coughs> left hand side. How about right hand side, right? You just take 2 plus 3, x plus 3. You are still getting 5. So it means that this, equa uh, this equation has two solutions, right? Therefore, x equals to the first solution will be 2, and the second solution will be 12, right? So if you have modulus both sides, you just put either one side plus minus. Then you break it into 2 and you solve, you get the solution. Uh, then this is your solution.